Okay, this video is going to also largely be static on this page, maybe not, about libertarianism. Why should you vote libertarian? In this case, if you're a liberal, why you should vote libertarian, okay? Now, on screen, to help you get into this, I don't know who all these people are. And, of course, this heading masks their faces. But this guy right here in the upper left is John McAfee. He was one of the uh, libertarian candidates. And you could sort of call him ultra-liberal. Okay? He's the guy who founded, you know, the McAfee antivirus and a bunch of other stuff. And he's still involved. He was unfairly accused of being involved in a murder in Belize, and he came back to the United States, and of course when anybody asked him, he says, well, if I was really guilty, why am I here? Which, duh, that answers the question. He's got a lot of good things to say. But in terms of, like, the ultimate radical liberal, he's that's him. Okay? This guy right here in the center is Gary Johnson, the actual nominee for uh, libertarian president. And it's not one of the better pictures of him. Um, he's the kind of guy that when he gets really tired, it shows. But his mind is really sharp. And he's a, a Republican, moderate Republican, who got sick of the Republican Party being, you know, what do you want to call it, taken over by the conservative, pro-life, blippy agenda. And so he quit it and became libertarian, which was a smart thing to do. Okay, and as a liberal, you would identify with that because that's what the GOP is known for, being taken over by the stupid pro-lifers. And that's why most people are against the GOP and should be. Now, but he's moderate. He wants, like all the libertarian agenda, he wants to do certain things like legalize marijuana in some kind of regulated fashion and some other drugs. He wants to go, go at you know, within the system. He wants to work within the system. Whereas John McAfee wanted just a plain old res revolution. Okay, so if you're a radical leftist, you're going to find a home in libertarianism. The difference between the guy here in the middle and the guy on the left is the guy here in the middle wants to use a more orderly process to um, shrink government, which would actually advance liberal goals. Okay, the central tenet of the Libertarian Party is that government should be small so you can be free. Free of any kind of cultural stigma, free of any kind of cultural push on you to go with a certain belief or whatever. Okay? And the Democrats have, you know, made a name for themselves in being for, you know, as it were, social, lib social liberation. The trouble is, is that they created big government to do it. So what's to prevent? And we see how bad it is under Donald Trump. What's to prevent a later takeover by all of the idiots who would take us back to the 1960s and all of that horrible racism? Okay? That's what Donald Trump, that, that the, the vote for Donald Trump is basically among racists, okay? They call themselves Christians, but I guarantee you they're not, because I know the Bible and they don't, and I can prove how anti-Bible they are. But liberals in general think of the Bible as being some big nasty book. Okay, they think it that way because the GOP Christians are that way. They think it that way because Donald Trump supporters are that way. Donald Trump supporters are anti-Semitic, they're racist, they can't think, they don't read, they're the most disgusting people on the planet, and if you vote for this guy in the middle, he will shrink government. If he shrinks government, then the power of any dictator getting into office in the future will be lower. The idea is to revert the power to the states. And this guy in the middle, and the whole Libertarian Party, that's its cornerstone, is to get rid of federal government. They want to get rid of it all. 
But that can't happen. So the closest thing to it is to start reducing it as much as possible. So everything is a liberal that you're for. The faces on this page represent. But the difference between them and the Democrats is that the Democrats have kept on saying that big government is the way to keep out you know, all the greed and corruption. But government itself is the subject of corruption now. That's what Bernie Sanders is arguing against. And, you know, a lot of Bernie Sanders' arguments make a lot of sense. But his way of getting rid of those problems won't work because he's prescribing more big government. Well, we got the problems we got today because we got big government today. So if you shrink government, then they don't have the power. Then the crony capitalism has to go away. Then all this attempt to regulate your social life goes away. And then you have the states. And if the state has good laws, like it'll allow marijuana or it'll allow you to be whatever LGBT you want or it'll allow this or allow that that you believe in, you move and you can live there. You don't have Mr. Big Federal Government that can be taken over by a dictatorship at any time. That's the threat that we're under right now. Donald Trump is a dictator. The whole GOP has caved into him. I am so upset and ashamed of the Republican Party that I've belonged to for 40 years until now, because now I'm voting for this guy in the middle. All right. I am so ashamed of the GOP for being racist, dictatorial, anti-Bible. I knew they were anti-Bible, but I didn't know they were this bad. So this guy is the only one of all the candidates who wants to shrink government. If he shrinks government, then as a liberal, you will have more power. You will have more money in your wallet to contribute to whatever causes you believe in. Okay? Do you want to get rid of the military, reduce the military? Well, so does he. Except that he, he believes in a strong defense like Hillary Clinton does. Now, he's not as skilled as her in foreign policy, but the guy that is his running mate for VP, Bill Weld, is skilled like she is. Bill Weld has been on the Council of Foreign Relations and has done a number of you know, uh, foreign trips for a long time. Now, am I really saying you know these people are better than Hillary? I don't actually know that yet. What I do know is the only long-term solution to our problem as a nation is to shrink the federal government. That's what will best serve any liberal cause you espouse. If you've got questions or you know disputes, let me know. Because I'm not anti-Hillary. I'm just more pro these people. Peace out.